In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reconnect your DAC board device to a new Wi-Fi network. This comes in handy if you end up changing your router or moving your DAC board's location. As you can see here, this DAC board is telling us there is no internet connection. To get connected to the new Wi-Fi network, we have to first find the DAC board Wi-Fi network created by the device. For touchscreen supported devices running on 3.41 and higher, you can just click on the link at the bottom of your screen to update your Wi-Fi name and password. You can do this with a computer, tablet, or a smartphone. Keep in mind you don't want to be too far away from your device when trying to connect to the DAC board network. Now browsing through the available Wi-Fi networks, if you have an older model, you'll find the network that says DAC board followed by a dash and what should be the serial number of your device. Newer devices will just show DAC board. If you're prompted for a password, this is what you'll put. Using all lowercase letters, you'll put DAKB5142. Next, you want to open a web browser and type in 10.0.0.5 and hit enter. This will take you to your display settings. At the top here, you'll want to confirm you have the correct network selected or choose the new network. Select the correct security type. Most networks are WPA2 and fill in your Wi-Fi network password if you have one. Scroll to the bottom and click Save Changes. Once you've seen the confirmation on your screen that your changes have been saved, users with older devices will need to unplug the power from their DAC board device and plug the power back in to reset it. If you have a newer device, there's no need to unplug because your device will attempt to connect on its own once your settings are saved. And with that, your DAC board will be up and running again. If you've run into any issues during this process, here's a few things to go back and check. Make sure you spelled your username and password correctly, paying close attention to any symbols or characters in the password. Make sure there are no unwanted spaces. Double check your capital letters if that applies. And make sure you have the correct security type selected. Still having trouble after doing these steps? Reach out to us. You can file a ticket through our support page where our team will help you find the solution.